Hey, I'm Nick Cathlon Gamer, and this is the Road of the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games and I'll hunt for the best score of the decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Imperator Rome, and it's episode 16. Made a lot of progress here. We have fully constructed our western border, our Atlantic border. We've still got our Mediterranean border to achieve. Uh, we've still got our eastern land border to achieve. And then our uh, northern, here it's Mare Britannicum, uh, sea to shape. So we've still got plenty of map painting left to do in this playthrough. So we are far, far from done. However, uh, if you saw the last episode, episode, you would know the struggle that it is to expand right now. I have two problems. One, the looming threat that is Rome, and hopefully these Roman revolts will continue to stunt their growth and hold them in a bit longer. I do not need all of this land, but in order to form Gaul, I do have to get these cities <laughs> all down along here that uh, Rome is really putting at risk. But beyond that, I've, I've done a lot of work to get towards the borders, so that, that's all good. Uh, the disloyal provinces, you can also see a lot of positive. I still have six that are disloyal, but they're getting a lot better. We're actually making a profit. It's all good stuff. Now, I have some manpower issues. Uh, I've got a lot of armies that need some help. That'll come back in time. We just finished a big war, so we'll, we'll get there. I could continue expanding. However, expansion is incredibly difficult right now and comes at a lot of manpower cost. Why? Because my other problem is we're stuck on level three. We really need to work on that. I'm still only getting 58.4 research points. 58.5 now, nice. A little climb there, a little hike. Uh, we're gonna see this level up here in just a couple quick months, but I need citizens and conquering them is no longer the efficient way to do it because the manpower costs. I'm too far behind the others, so I need to start promoting citizens uh, with great fervor. So we're going to do that here as soon as this upgrade is done. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started on that. So two more months, two more months, and we will have it. Last month here, and we'll have a civic advance. That'll give us a 3433. And of course, we'll be able to get those upgrades immediately. National commerce, that's good. Wages for characters, so that all helped the economy. National tax plus five, that'll help the economy. National freeman output, that'll help the economy as well. well capital import route, it could help the economy if we use it correctly. One more trade route available to us, and gosh, wood and horses is all I have. Well, wood is available. Uh, I suppose we'll take it. As it's literally the only option I've got right now. Okay. That takes care of that. Now, I'm going to let, let it tick forward a month here. And it is time to begin the promotions. And while I'm at it, continue <laughs> uh, to convert pops. So look at some things here. We're fully centralized. That's good. Got plenty of loyalty. Yeah, yours is rising. It's not dropping. So looking good. There, military. It's gonna be a long time before we get another tradition, uh, but it's gonna start getting cheaper as I pick things up. 
a bit faster. These guys are way behind at this point. Religion, we're already fully stabilized. Religious unity is very high. The discipline one's gonna go away here real soon, so we're gonna need something else in its place, but we can afford that. I mean, we do have a positive balance, which is nice. Uh, Let's see how we're looking. Uh, we're gonna promote pops. There you go. I mean, it's much cheaper to promote to freemen right now, and tribesmen. Oh boy. I know I need to promote some of them, but I need citizens more than anything because I need the research points. So let's just let's do it. Uh, now, this is my native culture area, so it's going to be a lot easier through here. Alright, well, that's a start. Uh, just like that, five points more. We were at point five already 0 0.52, 0 0 0.57, 0 0.48, 0 0.46. So we're averaging about 0.5 now per month. So that means at that rate we're gaining 6 of 100 per year. So tech gains are still very, very slow. I've got to keep going. Unrest, not an issue right now. I'm not looking for any wars anytime soon. I'm gonna let my troops recover, of course, but research points? Absolutely. Let's go for it. So, how are we looking now? Okay, right away we're seeing gains now hovering closer to 0.6. Okay, can I get there? A little bit quicker now. sure I'm taking the most loyal provinces. Maybe I should go a different way. Roman Civil War comes to an end. Let's take a look at that first. Oh boy. Uh, it would be nice if the Punic Wars get started. Carthage and Rome. Please have at each other going to require a bit of a coalition to stop them. And having wars with their neighbors is not good that others are engaged in that. Alright, you should not be here, but I can't get you elsewhere because that is the uh, provincial army. The only ones I don't control, well I kind of do, but no matter what, they've got some uh, winter attrition uh, that is a bit of a bother. Actually, right there is not afflicted by it, so go ahead and jump over there. Alright, uh, where is my... There goes another one. And we do have a bit of a deficit now. I 
think what I'm going to do here is we're going to consolidate. That cuts that down to one. And I think I should get rid of a few of these as well. Let's get rid of that. We'll just keep four. someone with a small number of cohorts like you. Are you loyal? 80%? Puts us back into a positive balance at least for now. Won't last as uh, the troops recover. Progressive expansion's going away, that's all good. And I still I need to start doing my upgrades. Lost track of my capital. Ah, there you are. Yeah, two citizens in the capital and seven tribesmen. Why don't we do some of this? Probably should spend do some light. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. All right. So we're gonna hang out here for a little bit and promote, promote, promote as it comes. We get seven per month. Three of these five provinces on the verge of recovering their loyalty, getting where we want it. Let's see, da 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 da. Gain popularity, but lose some help. Gain some religious power. I have a lot, but I like that option the best anyway. Bitteresia getting awfully close. I believe Bitteresia was one of those ones that was at zero for a long time. Uh, Sinonia clearly still has some work as it's still sitting on zero, but uh, we'll take care of that over time. I need citizens r right now more than I need provincial loyalty as uh, we seem to have remedied that all but one. We'll take a check on where we're at once all five of these have been promoted, so a number of months will go by. Uh, put us at odds with Sinonia tribesmen, move, okay. Yeah, we'll take your tribesmen. Unfriendly neighbors, da 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 da. Seems to know you have declared us an enemy of their nation. I don't care much. For, uh, we should make sure to look out. Yeah, they don't like me. I don't care. What are they going to do about it? Actually, my neighbors are to that point where they could just about do something. I have lots of 
troops. But I don't have manpower. And right now I'm running the the Russian model. The We're just gonna throw numbers at you until you can't take it anymore model because we do not have the capacity to beat them face to face or at face value whatever you want to call it we are inferior by a large margin there you go we have uh, 10 citizens now in our capital where we had two just a little bit to go. I'm still on the five. Let's go ahead and now run a check. Tech. Financially, we're back into the negative by a little bit. But what are we up to? 0 0.68, 0 0.62, 0 0.58, 0 0.55. So we're now roughly 0.6. So we've added a tenth each month, which means the progress, instead of six per year, is now over seven per year. That does shorten the timeline a decent amount, but we're only at 74, so we've got to keep going here. Uh, we will move right along. Uh, I'm liking continuing the work here because it is the home province so I don't have to worry about any sort of disloyalty issues These tribesmen all promoted to freemen, just like that. Okay. Ah, he's 72. It's okay. No. Yes. Take that. Take that tribe we'll get to, I suppose. Our leader's gonna die soon. He's at 72 years old. Seventy-one. Let's go for somebody a bit younger. We have local fort defense, local population growth, but you have freeman output and population growth, commerce income. Okay, we'll take that. And somebody just flipped. you switch to local tax and commerce income yeah you know not so interested in that not so interested I need 35 though so we're gonna wait for that and I want to get you turned back the right way here Discipline, yes, we'll take that, thank you. All right, we were here. Oh, no, we weren't, no, we weren't. I do still care about my loyalty. 
in the provinces and we just got to make sure it's taken care of here. There you go. Because they were so close to being out. Meeting of the clans. Minus 10 loyalty to everyone. Why? Because we have a new clan chief. Bonus Nisoniti6569. Gotta take care of that stability here. What is this? From one clan to another. We'll start moving them as soon as we can. Centralization's already there. So that's minus 10 loyalty or 10 prompt. Uh, oh, I can use some civic power, which is not a problem. So we can do that, and there we go, seven for a host. Take it. Okay, uh, and I just added another, didn't I? Would you? That's minor potatoes. We'll keep them around, I suppose. All right, you're free men now. Time to become citizens. It's all about citizen rights today. Citizenship. By the way, a lot of people have opinions regarding citizenship in their homelands, and particularly in the U.S. Uh, I certainly have my own opinions on that, but I will not share those with you right now. But what I will share with you, that's another clan that just lost, isn't it? Uh, we're gonna go and split in half, disband half, and disband, no, yep, we'll just get rid of that whole group, that whole group, go bye bye We are just rolling through characters right now. Since I just got rid of a bunch of others, hang on to the... What? How are we a minus 10? Really? Army maintenance. Quite large. It is quite large. We do need to get rid of some of these guys. And let's go ahead and get rid of some from here. Alright, uh, you have three cabs, so we can get rid of some of those. Not need six archers. Get rid of a few of those, and we'll call that good. Start with that. Okay, we're down to just three disloyal provinces now. Let's get back to our project here. Freeman to promote. That makes 10 citizens there. And now the tech looking a little bit better. 
0.9. That's actually lower than what it was. What has happened? Is it my government? Is there a, let's see. One of these has to do with research, doesn't it? No. Well, either way, we are rolling a little bit faster. Getting a little bit better. Wow, he did not last long, did he? <laughs> I think what we're going to do here is we're going to... Make a new unit of that guy. Let's go ahead and just disband this whole one. And we'll throw you in here with these guys. There you go. Somebody is starting to pick up some attrition where they're located. So let's go ahead and move you over here. By the way, we are finally just about there on... Manpower recovery. Alright, now, do we have anybody who's already, or at least all just tribesmen? There's five freemen right there. Let's. Hmm, what happens if I promote you? Are you gonna be unhappy? Oh, they are already unhappy. Well, that's not good. Let's check in over here. Have a look. Boy, they are not very happy here. Okay, now these guys are all tribesmen. Here's another chance. Search points, thank you. Again, how's that looking? 68.6. Almost to a point, point 0.6 average gain. <sighs> this is rough going though. It is really hard to... Uh... Get this group where we need them. Uh, let's see. Local tax, local unrest. We already have the centralization. I have plenty of military power. So I will not worry about that one. Let's go ahead and promote. Out. There's actually a lot of perks, a lot of bonuses that come from technology gains, and so this is all the more reason to promote a lot of freemen. Down to just two disloyal provinces, and Alabrosia's getting close. Getting close.
Aggressive expansion, very slow <laughs> coming down. By the time we get to our next war, it's probably going to be at zero. Not something I'm looking into right now. That one thing that I'm very much worried about, though. I suppose I don't even need... I'm just going to promote. Oh, nice. And now we're getting new citizens here. like that. So, and now we're starting to get citizens in these areas instead of tribesmen. Uh, 800's a lot. 400's not as much. Uh, let's lose 400. rough that most of the nation is still tribesmen because you've got two steps to go to get to citizenship. And then there's the culture issue. So we gain seven a month. It's not bad. back in a healthy range. Somewhat healthy anyway. 12,000. Gold certainly took a hit with the, uh, the recent, but there we go. There is a martial advance. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. We're going to see other advances as well here pretty soon. Army maintenance costs minus 10%. Thank you. That's huge. Supply limit. That's also big. And pirate spawn chance, not so important to us right now, but uh, two of those were huge. You can see research points now at 72.9, looking better and better. 0 0.65, 0 0.6, 0 0.58, 0 0.53, and getting quite close. We're looking at, let's see, nine months, nine months till we get our next upgrade. And let's see, you're contributing largely to some balance issues. Uh, disband that whole stinking unit. That took care of the issue. Uh, I'll take the marketplace. I'd rather have the long-term gain than the short-term gain. Rome, not expanding right now. Uh, this whole area is just shattered. Uh, Monopia is getting bigger. Not my first playthrough where Monopia has had some success. Uh, this is my problem with not expanding at the moment. Uh, tech now four four three three, about to hit four 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 four. That's still quite a bit lower than my neighbors. They have huge morale advantages, and there's other tech advantages that come. But this time, level four didn't come with any actual bonus to it. I mean, it was just economic. Wages went down. Army maintenance went down. See, we're a lot closer to being balanced. There's the next army morale recovery. That's going to come by, back up a little bit faster now. That's a good thing. That one has a military advantage. A little bit anyway. Primary culture happiness. That's huge. And omen duration, there you go, okay. And we're 
looking at about 11 months. Forty-two is there, but uh, it's not something I'm going to worry about right now. We're literally down to just one province, uh, Sononia. Where is Sononia? Loyalty and some money. No, I'll take the national tax. Thank you. Hey, it's positive balance. <laughs> so slightly, but it's a positive balance. Oh wow, it's it's one city? One city is all. Okay. Well, here you go. Uh, assimilate. Assimilate. We'll take care of one city, because look at all those freemen. Let's take care of the tribesmen first. There you go, now we're at all freemen. And let's take care of these guys. Uh, how about we go where he took care of the citizens, right? Yeah. So we'll go two at a time. We'll assimilate and promote. And there you go, country civilization level plus two. Now it's all fours. Aggressive expansion impact, that's good. Governor Loyalty, Diplo Reputation. And look at that. We're already approaching level 5. And we're getting quicker and quicker here. Still minus 0.44. Maybe I should assimilate, uh, promote first and then worry about whether they're happy or not. Bleed them dry. Wonder they're unhappy. to make them unhappy. But I'm still worried about I need citizens first and foremost. So we're going to make a whole city here of citizens. Five loyalty, minus ten loyalty. Or I take five tyranny and they both get disloyal. Or I go for some religious power, which I have a lot of already. Suppose we'll side with one, the one who needs it slightly more. One lower on the loyalty meter.
I have to look into what it takes to get away from being a tribe. Because I think that's going to be an important step here going forward. Take care of this city first, and then we'll look into that. Just two pops left to promote. Probably not getting the best of research from them at the moment, as they are unhappy. Just one left on the promotion, and I've forgotten one thing here. I do need to... Uh... Now, take care of a few things here. Uh, let's do one right there. Stability increase. There you go. Research points. Good. We need an elder here. Oof, that's kind of weak. Sixth war host. Are you... You were one of the clans, I think. A lot of civil wars out there. I'm doing a pretty good job of avoiding that. Uh, let's get our last one promoted. There you go. Now we've got 13 citizens. Oh, no, I don't want to change. I want to change your policy. Local autonomy. There we go. Plus 0.21. Point eight two from research. Yeah, see the stability as a bonus. A couple new freemen. Oh, slaves becoming freemen. Yes, I, I'm happy with that. Thank you. That's helpful to my cause. All right, they are gaining point two one per month. That's good. And that takes care of that. Last province kind of in check now. Balance is negative, but only slightly. Manpower is looking really good again. We still have <laughs> one war host that is recovering. 25,000, they're nearly there. And let's take a peek. Level 5 on its way, but let's see how fast we are gaining. We're at 84 research points. 0.75 or 74, whatever it was, but we are averaging nearly 0.7 per month now, so. Gaining about 8.5 points per year. So we're looking better and better all the time. We've more than doubled what we had, but it ultimately takes citizens. That's what we need. Civilization level at 38. We are a major power. If there's something here hey, that will move us away from. Well, okay, centralization. We got pop growth. Centralization bonus. Build cost. Oh, we have max loyalty minus 20 for tribesman happiness.
Now, I don't mind this one as long as they're loyal. Power to the mighty. Certainly make a change in that direction. I can't afford any of these changes right now. Let's see, transfer of wealth. Ooh, Freeman promotion cost minus 25. Formal legal code. I, I like that one. I, I really do. Uh, the unhappiness, though, I don't think we're quite there. Max friends, I don't need. Clan chiefs plus one. I don't think I need that anymore. Improve opinion. Aggressive expansion. Change. That's a good one. And I don't need the relations. But I don't see anything here that's going to push us away from being a settled tribe. However, decisions would be a good way. Embrace autocracy. How are we looking on that one? City civilization level is 50. What are we at? 40. How fast are we gaining? Maximum is 41. We need the oratory advances. Oh, and marketplaces. Oratory advances and marketplaces are what's going to get us out of being a tribe. Either way, it's 50 centraliza uh, civilization. And either increase council powers or absolute authority. Take three troops. Okay. Here's how things are looking around us. Rome, not growing right now. I like that a lot. Neither are we. I don't care for that too much. The aggressive expansion is almost gone now. The province loyalty is almost entirely there outside of one, and that one should definitely come along now. Uh, unless, of course, we expand that way and create issues again. And the tech, uh, we've just about doubled our research points. And there's another level, national commerce income, monthly wages, all down. Research points plus 10%, thank you very, very much. National tribesman output. And... Enact law cost. There you go. That's something we were just looking at. So we're now a four five four four. We are still well behind our neighbors and actually probably losing more ground. Uh, possibly. Province of the characters is everyone. Yes, just one. Just one character. So we'll do that. All right, well, the promotions need to keep coming. I'm going to do a little bit of that off camera, just a little bit, uh, because I, th I think it's going to be a little while before we are ready uh, to get back to making war. I certainly do have some neighbor neighbors that uh, I'd like to start gobbling up here real soon, though. Uh, you can see 11, 11, 11, 11, 15 now, 7, 7, 7. So Monopia actually is not that strong. Ooh, surprising. Okay, 12. There's 11s. Some of them are going to be tiny and therefore would be pretty easy to take on. 14, 16, 12, 7s with just 17. 
course it depends on who's going to join in 10 so we're, we're definitely still at a deficit but the deficit's not that big to some of our neighbors quite large to others so we've got to play that card close to our hands I'll take a look at that off camera and kind of see if we have any options available to us for an easy land grab at this point just a small expansion uh, but for the most part I really want to continue this move towards citizenship and civilization. But that's going to do it for this episode. We're over uh, 5,000 now. That's nice. That's a good score. Uh, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe, and tune in next time on my Road to the Record. Bye for now.